I'm reading about how uh, Paul Ryan's departure will set off a power vacuum in the Republican Party. Once he leaves, how fractured are we going to see the Republican Party? What will it reveal? Well, it's already pretty factionalized, so I don't know that it could get any more so, I suppose, a little bit. Uh, look, this uh, Ryan's departure is what I like to call an expected shock. That is, you're shocked because of the day on which it's announced, but it was completely expected. I don't know anybody who, who believed he would actually be serving in the next Congress. Most people thought he'd retire after uh, the election day, after he was reelected. Look, there are pluses and minuses to doing it now. Some say that it is a signal to many people outside Congress that mm. Ryan himself does not expect the Republicans to retain a majority. Mm. But uh, who can say? Larry, is that what you think? Do you think this is capitulation, that he had no interest here in being a minority leader if indeed that the Democrats do take the House after the midterms, that ultimately he was like, you know what, I'm better off exiting now and going out on a relative high? Well, of course, he's staying until the end of the year, even though he's announced it now. But look, no speaker wants to become minority leader. Ask Nancy Pelosi. It's not a lot of fun after you've exercised the power of the speakership and you've been second in line to the presidency. But for, for Paul Ryan, I, part of what he said is true. He said he wanted to spend more time with his family. He is very family oriented. I suspect, though, he also wants to spend less time with the Trump family. Hmm. Uh, he really doesn't get along all that well uh, with Donald Trump, and he never has. Now, he's become an enabler. He's been supporting him strongly uh, during his presidency, but there's no doubt he's going to be relieved to leave the Congress and cash in, and boy, will he cash in.